Express Premium Banner. Katie Hopkins Sparks Apo Ashimox Kartiger Aves Griffin in Human Rent. Katie Hopkins has been heavily criticized after mocking Kate Garraway's grief over her late husband Derek Draper and cruelly joking that she can monetize it with a TV show and book deal. Express Premium Banner. Katie Hopkins sparks uproar as she mocks Kate Garraway's grief in Inhumane Rant. Katie Hopkins has been heavily criticized after mocking Kate Garraway's grief over her late husband Derek Draper and cruelly joking that she can monetize it with a TV show and book deal. By Chloe Govan. 07 56, Monday, January 15, 2024, updated, 1301, Monday, January 15, 2024. 842 bookmark. Katie Hopkins appears to mock Kate Garraway and Derek Draper. Katie Hopkins was slammed for making insensitive jokes about the death of Good Morning Britain presenter Kate Garraway's husband. The notoriously nasty commentator, who was once banned from Twitter for violating the company's hateful conduct policy, has since returned and could be seen laughing as she discussed the presenter's tragic loss. Important at ITV Documentary Tonight. Hashtag Kate Garraway. Hashtag Life After Derek allegedly sponsored by Pfizer, she wrote, in reference to the vaccine company Pfizer. Accompanying book available wherever you get your 100th boost to hashtag excess deaths, she added. In an attached video, she swigged from a wine glass while telling followers, there's also a book to go along with the documentary Life After Derek. Has only been dead a week exclamation mark. When a follower called her out for weaponizing someone's tragic death for your grift, she didn't back down, instead insisting, literally what Garway has been doing for two years. Another horrified follower chimed in, Katie Hopkins laughing about the death of Kate Garraway's husband. If hell exists that is where she belongs. Katie said she had anticipated the backlash beforehand, exclaiming in her video, This is where I get such a being, where people go, that crosses a line. How dare you laugh? She just lost her husband. The other thing people will say is you should be ashamed of yourself. When another follower reminded her, there is a line, she retorted, there is. And what a marvelous line. Many assume their line should dictate the line of others. Strangely lefty comedians don't have to worry about a line, one supporter seemed to revel in her caustic sense of humor, quipping, damn, you are cold as ice, honey. Glorious ice queen, x1 million. We are going to hell. Katie replied, hopefully. My mates are all going to be there. And I fg love an open fire, however, the majority were outraged by the joke, with one follower asking, Katie, why do you find the death of someone's husband amusing? This is inhumane. Even by your standards, your active celebration of the pain and suffering of others reflects the emptiness of your soul, another added. Kate's husband died earlier this month after suffering long COVID for almost four years. He spent almost a year in an induced coma, and frequently returned to hospital after his initial 13-month stay, the longest of any COVID patient in the UK. Express Premium Banner. Katie Hopkins sparks uproar as she mocks Kate Garraway's grief in Inhumane Rant. Katie Hopkins has been heavily criticized after mocking Kate Garraway's grief over her late husband Derek Draper and cruelly joking that she can monetize it with a TV show and book deal. By Chloe Govan. 07 56, Monday, January 15, 2024, updated, 1301, Monday. January 15, 2024.842 Bookmark Katie Hopkins appears to mock Kate Garraway and Derek Draper. Katie Hopkins was slammed for making insensitive jokes about the death of Good Morning Britain presenter Kate Garraway's husband. The notoriously nasty commentator, who was once banned from Twitter for violating the company's hateful conduct policy, has since returned and could be seen laughing as she discussed the presenter's tragic loss. Important at ITV Documentary Tonight. Hashtag Kate Garraway. Hashtag Life After Derek allegedly sponsored by Pfizer, she wrote, in reference to the vaccine company Pfizer. Accompanying book available wherever you get your 100th boost to hashtag excess deaths, she added. In an attached video, 
she swigged from a wine glass while telling followers, there's also a book to go along with the documentary Life After Derek. Has only been dead a week exclamation mark dot when a follower called her out for weaponizing someone's tragic death for your grift, she didn't back down, instead insisting, literally what Garway has been doing for two years. Dot another horrified follower chimed in, Katie Hopkins laughing about the death of Kate Garraway's husband. If hell exists that is where she belongs. Katie said she had anticipated the backlash beforehand, exclaiming in her video, This is where I get such a being, where people go, that crosses a line. How dare you laugh? She just lost her husband. Kate Garraway lost her husband Derek this month. Kate Garraway lost her husband Derek this month. Image, ITV. Read more, Strictly's Jeanette Manrara responds to concerns from fans over photo of baby, fears. Katie Hopkins laughed over Derek Draper's death. Katie Hopkins cruelly laughed over Derek Draper's death and said it was being monetized, image, Twitter. The other thing people will say is you should be ashamed of yourself. When another follower reminded her, there is a line, she retorted, there is. And what a marvelous line. Many assume their line should dictate the line of others. Strangely lefty comedians don't have to worry about a line, one supporter seemed to revel in her caustic sense of humor, quipping, damn, you are cold as ice, honey. Glorious ice queen, x1 million. We are going to hell. Katie replied, hopefully. My mates are all going to be there. And I fg love an open fire, however. The majority were outraged by the joke, with one follower asking, Kitty, why do you find the death of someone's husband amusing? This is inhumane. Even by your standards, your active celebration of the pain and suffering of others reflects the emptiness of your soul, another added. Don't miss. George Clooney's verdict on Prince Harry and Meghan before ditching Sussex's verdict. A Place in the Sun's Laura Hamilton shows off bikini body with Lucy Verasami, pictures. Post office scandal survivor faces emotional flashbacks and financial struggles, aftermath. Become an Express Premium member. Support fearless journalism. Read the Daily Express online, advert free. Get super fast page loading. Logo. Start 30 day free trial. Derek Draper had to use a wheelchair after COVID. Derek Draper was confined to a wheelchair before his death, image, UK. Kate's husband died earlier this month after suffering long COVID for almost four years. He spent almost a year in an induced coma, and frequently returned to hospital after his initial 13-month stay, the longest of any COVID patient in the UK. Derek suffered complications including kidney failure, sepsis and, just weeks before his death, a cardiac arrest. He leaves behind Kate and their two children, 17-year-old daughter Darcy and 14-year-old son Billy. Kate poignantly paid tribute to her beloved husband on social media after his death on January 5, telling him, Rest gently and peacefully now Derek, my love, I was so lucky to have you in my life. Controversial commentator Katie Hopkins has been criticized for mocking ITV presenter Kate Garraway after the death of her husband, Derek Draper. Draper was said to be one of the UK's longest-suffering COVID patients, spending 13 months in hospital after contracting the virus in March 2020, and died earlier this month. In a video posted on X, Hopkins, who has 1 million followers on the site, wrongly claimed ITV was set to air a documentary titled Life After Derek, with Garraway releasing a book to go with it. Neither claim is true, but the former Apprentice contestant added that has only been dead a week as she laughed and drank a glass of red wine. 8.30 Tonight Teresa documentary on the TV that you all need to watch, yeah, it's a Kate Garraway documentary, so it's important that I finish on time for you tonight she said in the post on Saturday. And it's Kate Garraway, Life After Derek, she laughed, before adding, there's also a book she's releasing to go with the documentary. Hess only been dead a week. Dot along with the video, which has been viewed more than 4 million times according to X's scrutinized figures, she said the documentary is allegedly sponsored by Fizzer, 
in a reference to the Pfizer COVID vaccine. Draper contracted the illness long before the vaccine was available. Reacting to the video, broadcaster Lorraine King described Hopkins as a sick person, while comedian Dom Jolie said she has zero empathy and is a total grifter. Other social media users responded to the video, with some people writing that her comments were horrible. Hopkins had been permanently banned from X, then known as Twitter, in 2020 for breaching its rules on abuse and harmful contact before being reinstated last year. She used to present on radio broadcast her LBC but was sacked after making comments about the Manchester Arena bombing. She has also compared migrants to cockroaches and said she would use gunships to stop them from crossing borders.